exceptional jumps. Let's face it, an average person cannot jump very high. So it's more interesting and exciting to animate jumps that are exceptional. Now let's see how to do that while still keeping them believable. Exceptional jumps have a very large jump height. The ratio of the jump height to push height is called jump magnification. For example, if the character rises from a one foot crouch and jumps two feet into the air, then the jump magnification is two. Now, exceptional jumps, such as by uh, superheroes, have very large jump magnification. In this example, the character has a push height of one foot, but jumps 36 feet into the air, roughly the height of a three-story building. The jump magnification for this exceptional jump is 36. To make the jump look believable, the push needs to be timed correctly. The push time is the number of frames from when the character starts rising until they take off from the ground. For a believable jump, this push time needs to be short if the jump magnification is large. You can use this formula to check the timing of the push compared with the jump time. The formula says the push time from crouch to takeoff equals the jump time from takeoff to apex divided by the jump magnification. Let's do an example. A jump height of 36 feet happens to be a jump time of 36 frames. You can find this from the tables or the formulas in the other videos. Now, if the push height is one foot, then the jump magnification is 36. This means that the push time is only one frame. Let's look at an example from a film that has exceptional jumps by the Hulk. The Hulk's jump isn't believable since the push timing on the ground is not consistent with the jump time in the air. For such an, ex an exceptional jump, the push time would need to be less than one frame. Using slow motion is an old trick for disguising the timing in a superhero jump. Here we see an example from the old TV show, The Six Million Dollar Man. Small animals are able to perform jumps with exceptional jump magnification, and the push time uh, for such jumps is very short. Ordinary humans can perform exceptional jumps with the assistance of an elastic surface, such as a trampoline or a springboard. An extreme example of this is a circus act called the Human Cannonball. In this act, the performer is pushed upward by stretched rubber bands or with compressed air. While the performer is in the air, the path of action is a parabolic arc. The vertical spacings follow the odd rule and fourth down at halftime. If you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, see some of my other videos. The human cannonball is like a jump with the length of the barrel being the push height. The range of the cannon also depends on the performer's acceleration in the barrel. For example, if the acceleration is 7 Gs and the barrel is 30 feet long, then the range is 7 times 30, which is 210 feet. And that's roughly the world's record for human cannonball. 
the human body can only withstand a certain amount of acceleration before suffering injury. The amount of acceleration depends on the direction, and the safest is when the acceleration is sideways. Upward and downward acceleration are more dangerous because of the increased blood flow out of the brain or into the brain, as well as the possibility of spinal injury. This is why the human cannonball is limited to about 7 Gs of acceleration. Now, finally, the jump magnification happens to equal the number of Gs of acceleration during the push of a jump. If you were strong enough to accelerate your body to a jump magnification of 5, this would still be a challenge because your acceleration during the push would be 5 Gs. This means that you would probably black out from doing this type of jump. Think about how dizzy you get when you stand up too fast. The same thing would happen here, but worse. So an exceptional jump requires both strength and physical endurance. So in summary, exceptional jumps are characterized by a large jump magnification. The push time is very short for a realistic jump with an enormous magnification. Using slow motion is a common trick for disguising the timing of an exceptional jump. Uh, jumps may be enhanced by launching the character, such as a human cannonball. And humans have a limited tolerance for extreme acceleration. In the next video, we'll look more carefully at the forces involved in a jump, both in the takeoff and in the landing. See you then.